Will this set usher in a new age for LEGO cars? Let's find out. Hello everybody, the Brickologist here with another March 2024 set review. Today we have the LEGO Icons McLaren MP4-4 and Ayrton Senna set. This set contains 693 pieces and retails for about 80 US dollars. Here is a front look at your box. I got my copy of this set at my local Kohl's. The back of the box showcases some of the functions this set contains. This set includes one very nice instruction manual with 107 pages of building and there are some additional images in this manual including a nice detailed pic of the Formula One car itself. You then get a short biography on Ayrton Senna which is fantastic for context and then of course some information about the designer of this set. I love all this stuff. It really makes these products feel very deluxe. Before we get started with today's review, I'd like to remind you all to please like this video, comment on the video, share with all of your friends, consider subscribing to this channel and clicking that bell for new video notifications. All of that stuff really helps out my account, bringing you more LEGO set reviews like the one you're about to watch today. Nearly 700 pieces later, the Formula One car is complete and it is on a display stand. Plus you get a minifigure also on his own display stand. Very different from your average LEGO car car set. Let's look at Ayrton himself first. Here is Brazilian F1 racing legend Ayrton Senna himself, and this minifigure is awesome, especially the torso and leg printing. They absolutely nailed that. The face print looks pretty good. The hair piece, I personally would have used a different hair piece, not my favorite there. Not the best choice in my opinion, but that's not something I'm going to hold against it. Additionally, you also get his helmet, which has an exclusive print on it so you don't even have to look at the ugly hair piece so that is very very nice from the back he has a good double-sided face and some good back printing as well such an amazing figure and I love the fact that we're actually getting a figure of a real-life racer rest in peace Cinna. Here is Senna on his little podium. It's a very simple design, but it gets the job done. He also, of course, does have a trophy there and a piece so he can hold his helmet. There is a plaque with a sticker that has the quote that says, no matter what your dream is, you have to dedicate yourself entirely to it. Definitely a great quote. All around, this is really cool and just kind of adds to the very prestige of this set. I love that about this. Now it's time to transition and look at the McLaren MP4-4. And this also has a really nice display stand with a stickered plaque as well. Lots of detail there about the car. You can pause the video and read that if you so choose. The stand itself is also pretty simple but very effective. And it really makes for a different style of display for a Lego car and I love Love that. Here it is, the McLaren MP4-4, the winningest car in the history of F1 in 1988. That is an absolutely wild statistic to me, and I think LEGO really nailed this design. The front here looks pretty good. The McLaren logo on the side here is a sticker. However, the Shell logo and then the Honda logo with the number Shell again and McLaren, that is a print, and there are actually more prints than stickers in this set, which was such a breath of fresh air. However, unfortunately, not all prints are created equal. This part right here has white printed on red and Lego has really been struggling with this lately. And here, once again, it just kind of looks pink to me. It's not quite as bad as some others I've seen, but it still doesn't quite match up with the actual white color of their bricks. That is very distracting. And the fact that it's on the front nose section of this car is definitely a hindrance to the build. That is the single worst thing about this entire set. Back to good prints though, the windscreen has the tag Hewer logo printed there. Very, very bougie. I love seeing that in this set. Moving down the side, you have a couple more stickers here with the Shell logo and the Shell logo written out right there, which is nice. But right here is a printed one by one piece. That looks very cool. Also, the mirrors up front here are a nice little design. And moving on towards the cockpit, really nicely designed. I think the cushion looks solid. The gear shifts are good. The one on the left is using a sextant piece, a really creative part usage, and there's actually a brilliant function up here. Now, a lot of times, bigger LEGO car builds do have functional steering, but because this one is slightly smaller than the $150 plus cars, 
I thought LEGO might not be able to put that here. I was wrong. They actually did and it functions so well. Look at how clean this is. The front wheels move from side to side when you turn the steering wheel in the cockpit. That is a brilliant play feature and works perfectly. Moving towards the back of the car here, everything just looks so fantastically designed. The shaping is fantastic. I love the snot techniques here used to capture the shape of this build. My biggest gripe though, there is a very small sticker on a 1x2 tile there with the Cine logo. Why was that not printed? We got so many other fantastic prints in this set. That one was just way too small and annoying to put on. Not crazy about that, but everything else looks pretty spectacular. Unfortunately, however, there is another red part back here with white printed on it that just looks a little bit janky to me. Lego, you need to clean this up. With all that being said, there is a very good function back here. You can actually pop off this entire section to reveal the engine of the automobile and this is a great build. I mean come on now this just looks spectacular. The colors are great there's lots of drum lacquered silver there's also some gunmetal gray they use the bullhorn piece really effective there the flower part all of it looks awesome. Additionally, at first I was kind of confused by these colors, and then I realized those are the colors of the Brazilian flag, an Easter egg for our boy Senna. What a great little detail. Lego, you just knocked it out of the park with this section of the design. The back wheels look quite slick. The 12 right here is a sticker rounding off the 10 total stickers this set contains. However, the McLaren logo back here on the spoiler is a print. The way it's kind of oddly staggered is actually very accurate to the real car even though it looks a bit weird what's not accurate is it saying McLaren it should say Marlboro for those of you out of the loop Marlboro is a cigarette company and if you know Lego standards I am not surprised whatsoever they decide to omit that there yeah it's definitely an accuracy issue but at the same time Marlboro essentially sells lung cancer so I don't think it's a bad thing for them to simply just change it to McLaren. Overall, I think it was a necessary compromise. Finally, the vehicle looks fine from the back. Some decent little designs, and it's actually nicely tiled off, so that is good, but nothing crazy to talk about here. Bringing everything together, this is one of the most unique releases for LEGO in 2024 thus far, and I posed the question at the beginning of this video, is this going to usher in a new age for LEGO cars? The reason I asked Ask said question is because Lego cars seem to either be speed champion cars, which are about $25 to $27, or big $150 plus cars like the Corvette that came out last year. This is firmly in the middle at $80. And honestly, I think I might prefer this more affordable scale to the big $150 to $240 car sets they've been doing for quite some time. It's not that much smaller than those builds and it has the same level of 18 plus detail and I do love the fact that this set in particular has a display stand that really makes it way easier to put on a shelf. This is going to be a centerpiece for any Lego car collection. Additionally, including an actual historic racer is fantastic. I have been begging Lego to do more real life professional athletes for years. We're starting to get there and I hope we see more in the very near future. As for the set itself, I think it's mostly a perfect build. My biggest issue here is really just those ugly prints. Other than that though, and some little nitpicky flaws, this thing looks spectacular. It functions great. It's a nice size. The price, 693 pieces for 80 bucks, isn't great on the price to part ratio front. However, because there are so many printed pieces here, and because it's actually a fairly nice size, I'm not all that mad about the price. I would have loved for it to be $70, but I think 80 isn't completely unfair. I was expecting to rant about the price, but I'm actually not going to. It's not a half bad deal. At the end of the day, if this set had cleaner printing on those red pieces, we could be looking at a 10 out of 10. However, I do have to acknowledge those flaws, which is why this set is going to get a 9 out of 10 instead. Still an absolutely fantastic set and one of my favorites of 2024 so far. Those are just my thoughts though. Love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching today's review. Peace out. God bless. Bye bye